going to be uh, going to be a little difficult. As the nor'easter moved in, some were still taking care of last-minute chores. This fisherman getting his skiff out of the water with a little help. At Cross Beach Road in Seabrook, the water was getting closer every minute. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Well, I stayed the last time. This time I'm going to leave. And her neighbor was following suit. Tiffany Jones says they were away for the January nor'easter, but it left enough of a mark so that they're not taking any chances. Just to see all the stuff in the yard was kind of scary because all the grass and everything was washed up to our front steps. Lobsters are used to this stuff. Yeah, they can handle it. But they're about the only ones. At Markey's Lobster Pool, they were resigned to getting flooded again, just like what happened in January. There isn't much you can do. Just uh, make sure everything is, that's loose on the outside is, is buckled down. Jerry Flynn was also anticipating high waters and he thinks this could be worse than January. Because the snow actually acts as a barrier for the most part. Officials are asking people to stay away from the ocean because of the possible flooding and Flynn says people need to understand getting too close to the surf is dangerous. We have all the uh, the rocks that are some of them are only the size of a softball and I've seen them come up you can see there's some debris over there now but I mean that's, it's no joke they come over and uh, they, they go flying. Uh, the fire chief says you take a live look at Ocean Boulevard here in Hampton says one of the things that actually is helping them this time is those storm drains aren't clogged with snow and ice. He says one of the other things too, the flooding does seem to be coming up from the marsh just like it was um, back in January. The advantage though, they're not dealing with 18 inch blocks of ice. Reporting live in Hampton Beach, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9. Yeah, right. thanks. A little bit of good news there. The water is now rushing though through the streets of Hampton Beach and getting deeper by the minute. And our team coverage continues now with Kristen Carosa, who has more on those flooding concerns. Kristen. Yeah, we're here in Ashworth Avenue, a place that normally floods in storms like this. And actually, you can see today is no different. You can see right down the road there, there's actually a car stuck in the middle of the road. This uh, this road here filled up pretty quickly with water this morning. Um, as you can see, the road is closed and high tide was roughly 30 minutes ago. And this road flooded very quickly, as I just said, along with several side streets. Now we did drive around this morning and we saw several streets with quite a bit of water on them, such as Island Path, Brown Avenue and Hobson Avenue. And as we've said, the greatest threat for flooding along the seacoast today will be midnight tonight and around 12 on Saturday. Now, despite all of this, and as you can see, I don't know if you can hear, but the wind is absolutely whipping right now. Uh, businesses in this main area say they are open and they are ready to take on this storm. It's nothing new. This as always when we get the high tides is the water come. Last time the water came all the way till here. And this time, I don't know, they're saying maybe we'll have it again. Yeah, Wally's is always 65. open. We've been here with like generators on. Yeah, we got to make sure we service the people. We so. never close. Need some good food. We never close. Yep. <laughs> we always have good food at Wally's. <laughs> Got to love their attitudes in a day like today. Again, a live look at Ashworth Avenue, where as you can see, a car is stuck in the middle of the street here. And then also a good thing to note, uh, it's really important to tie down trash cans and outdoor furniture, because as you can see, many trash cans and a lot of trash is now floating down the street at this hour. You know, the winds are just so very strong. And also, if you come, if you're out and about today driving, if you come upon a street that looks flooded, do not attempt to go through it. You will absolutely get stuck. We're live in Hampton. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9. Kristen, thank you. Utility companies have extra crews on standby for when those outages start happening. Those strong winds are a big concern and some areas could pick up some heavy wet snow. Officials are also warning about the dangers of downed lines in large puddles or floodwaters. Yeah, uh, and just up the coastline from where we saw Kristen, roads are being shut down in Rye as the high tide arrived there. With more on that situation, let's go live to WMUR's Tim Callery braving the elements. Good afternoon, Tim. Hey, Sean, I have to tell you, this wind we're experiencing right now is some pretty impressive stuff. Every now and then we'll just get this huge gust of wind come by and it's almost uh, hard to stand up. But what's equally as impressive here it comes right now, that strong wind is what's going on here behind me. We have such an angry ocean in the background here in Rye, a lot of white caps. Uh, we're stationed right now here at Genesis State Beach, but I have to tell you, I don't think the beach is in existence right now. The water as we hit that high tide uh, came up to the wall here and has been spilling over uh, every now and 
then the strong wind that we get just pushing uh, the water into the road and that's primarily the reason why we are now starting to see some road closures here in Rye. Let's go ahead and take a look at some video of just further up the road at Rye Harbor uh, just about a half hour or so ago as we went to reach that high tide. Uh, the town sent out a notice saying that they were shutting down Ocean Boulevard uh, and I can see uh, while we were up there earlier just getting some video of the harbor. Uh, we were there probably for about five minutes or so before the water just started really gushing into that area and spilling over on Ocean Boulevard. We did see some cars come by. Uh, they were able to get by okay, but that water was rising pretty quickly. And along with this strong wind, it's pushing, as I said, the uh, water over the rock wall, and that's sending water and rocks onto cars, creating some hazardous conditions. The primary reason why the town has closed down Ocean Boulevard. Um, of course, as I said, this is quite the sight to see here. It's pretty impressive uh, if you do it from a safe distance. A lot of people have been coming here to Genesee State Beach to grab some photos and just to really take in the power of Mother Nature. But officials here in Rye are asking people to stay cautious. Um, they say if you do come out or if you have to be out, they want you to take it easy. Try and avoid Ocean Boulevard if you can at all. They're asking to find a detour around there. We did just see uh, a DOT crew come by here and uh, check things out. But again, back here live at uh, Genesis State Beach, a beach that really isn't here today. Of course, the ocean is starting to take over things here as this nor'easter rolls on. We're live here in Rye this afternoon. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.